welcome to The Other Mom. Hi, so today we're going to talk about Facebook with the dad and the mom and the stepmom. My husband's son turned 13 yesterday. Woohoo! We have a teenager! And I'm not even 30. Woohoo! Anyway, so he got a Facebook. I thought it would be a good idea because then he could talk with his mom while he's here and he can talk to his mom's side of the family while he's here and we could talk to him while he's at his mom's house. So we made him this Facebook and we added our family onto it. I texted his mom and told her what the username is, what the password was. I asked her not to please change the password so that my husband and I and she could get on and monitor. She had said that day when we made it that she, when she got home from work, she would add him on Facebook and then she would add her family on. Perfect. I'm not segregated to just our family or just her family. Rewind, actually. About two years ago, she made a Facebook for him. So he was 11 and my husband had it taken down because he was 11. The funny thing was, she didn't tell us about it. She only had her family on it. Back to 13. So, we made one, added our family, gave her the password, gave her the username. We added her onto that Facebook. My husband and I are on that Facebook. She will not accept his friend request because my husband and I are on. So I asked him yesterday, I was like, so is mommy gonna like get on this Facebook and add her family? And he said, no, she doesn't trust you guys. What? She doesn't trust us? Oh, my mistake. Okay. I don't say this in front of him, by the way. I was just like, oh, well, uh, we talked about trust and why she would feel this way and what um, what not trusting somebody means. And I said, well, usually if you're not open to telling somebody something or willing for somebody to see something, you're usually hiding something. And I was like, I don't know if she is. I don't know her life. But I'm sorry that she won't add anybody on. I said, I'm sorry that none of your other family if you could think of anybody, we can try to find them on there. But without her help, we're kind of lost. Oh my gosh. What do you do? Like, what would you do in this situation? Because we're kind of at a loss of what we want to do. I mean, Facebook, it's all new also. So within this weekend, we had cell phone drama and we had Facebook drama. I don't know. I mean, what happens when the car is bought? Where does the car go? I don't, I mean, come on. Let's grow up a little bit. Anyway, what would you guys do? How would you handle the situation? We just said let it be, and if she wants to add people later, she can. Or if he knows anybody, he can add them. He does have the, the Facebook app on his phone. So I even said maybe if you're at Mommy's, she can, like, look through it, and then she doesn't have to add herself. Oh, my glory. Anyway mini rant about Facebook. This is what the page is all about. What would you do? We're totally confused on what to do. So leave a comment below, subscribe, thanks for the new subscribers, and I have lots of hauls coming soon. I have lots of videos. Uh, there's a uh, speed cleaning, organizing, decluttering the top of my fridge and counters and sides of it, and there is a relationship video about mom and stepmom coming up so keep an eye out for them bye